Trobriin Islands have a population of 15,000 and a unique way of playing cricket. In British cricket, the parent game, two batsmen take turns to protect wickets of three stumps from the bowler. One run is scored by one safe crisscross of the running batsman. A batsman is run out if the ball strikes the wicket while he is outside his safe area, or if he is bowled out, or if his hit is caught, or if he is stumped by the wicket keeper while outside the safe area marked by the crease line. A team consists of 11 players plus a reserve. The game is known for its slow pace. The game originated in England in medieval times. By the 18th century, it was played on village greens with underarm bowling and curved bats. The score was kept by notching a stick. The game is played today in international matches and on village greens had evolved by the late 19th century. About the same time, British colonialism arrived in New Guinea. Alien institutions were imposed on the people. Missionaries brought their own moral values. And government officials colonized Papua from the capital, Port Moresby. In self-governing Papua New Guinea, some of these institutions have taken hold in their familiar form. Parliamentary democracy in the House of Assembly and cricket, which is played enthusiastically by official rules in many parts of the country. This is a weekend match between neighboring villages in the Hula area, east of Port Moresby. International equipment and techniques are used, including the obligatory overarm bowling. But in the Trobrians, the game has undergone a remarkable cultural transformation. Among other things, it is now played with dances and chants that have been especially created for the game. <laughs> Leaders of a local political movement, among them university-educated Trubrianders and respected men of rank, discuss how and why these changes occurred. Kuna <laughs> Among the earliest Europeans on the Trobrians was the Reverend M. K. Gilmore, 
who introduced cricket in 1903. Supporting him was a contingent of Fijian missionaries who themselves added ideas about how the game could be played. The first players were early converts to the Methodist Church. The game was played on the grounds of the mission headquarters. Government control of the Trubrians was established through resident white officials and the Papuan police force. Traditional warfare was stopped, but government policy sought to prevent the disintegrating effects of this change. Conveniently, mission games were introduced for entertainment as a substitute for warfare and to encourage a new morality. As seen in this film from 1950, the cricket of Gilmore's time, though more exuberant than its international counterpart, still survived in the few areas under strictest European domination. As the game spread into outlying villages, one of the first changes was to enlarge the sides to any number of players and dress became the dress of war. To equalize the numbers, players paired off in lines that symbolized their previous formations for war. But the fundamental change in the game came in the purpose for playing. Competition became ritualized and also political. Trobrianders call this kind of competition chaos. In Carl Gardens and Their Magic, the famous anthropologist Malinowski wrote, Kayasa is a generic name for any period of competitive obligatory activity. It is always organized on a definite pattern with a ceremonial according to its kind." Unquote. Gifts of prestige food underlie the politics of Kayasa. A man or group builds reputation in society by organizing and paying for Kayasa competitions. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> Eh, khalita wa wa. Pela